Good morning. Here we are out in the tea field, and I'm just going to give you a little tour of the uh, tea propagation tunnel setup. Here you see, uh, well, what I, what you can't see is what I've already done. I weed whacked the whole area to get the surface grass off and cleaned off the grass, and then I got the rototiller out and I tilled to a depth of about 10 inches. And then I raked through and got rid of all the uh, roots and weeds and leftover pieces of grass. I tilled in some uh, peat moss to raise the acidity of the soil and then I covered it with landscape fabric and pinned it down. Next step is to install the hoops. There, I will uh, see you on the next step. Okay, so now put in the hoops and the end stakes. Be roughly two feet tall. The landscape fabric is three feet wide. Hoop, another hoop, another hoop, and one. So now we have a pretty decent frame. So I'm going to put a uh, lengthwise smaller gauge wire stringing these hoops together just to keep them from wobbling shade cloth firmly in place. So now I've attached the lengthwise wires just with a little bit of uh, these ones go the length. Used some wire wrap. I'm going to put some tape on these guys because um, they're slipping a little bit. These ones are a little bit more done. It's nice and tight. So, cool. Okay, up there, down. So now the whole structure is ready to um, be able to withstand the shade cloth. And you can see it's pretty sturdy. All right, here's our little Christmas light. It's the ocean beyond there. <gasps> What's that? Propagation tunnel. Okay, so the final step, I'm going to take you down for a closer look, is to get some shade cloth and lay the shade cloth over the tunnel, cutting it to size. And there are these nifty little grommet things that I got from Lowe's that, uh, along with the um, landscape fabric pegs can hold it down nicely. Grommet. 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 And so on. So now I'm going to take you on a little tour inside. So this is what it looks like inside. It's quite nice in here actually. So that's where my tea plants are going to take life. So there's one final step that I haven't done yet. And that is to uh, attach the irrigation sprinklers to each of these little ribs so that the whole thing will be auto irrigated. Okay, I'll, sh I'll shoot some more video when I get that done. Till the next time.